Good evening everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Avocado Insider series. It's your host Harshad Goda. In this episode, we continue our discussion with Nat FM Israel and we talk about frost and heat mitigation in avocado orchards. We are witnessing extreme temperatures right now. Uh, it's April and uh, in Bhopal we are already uh, seeing 40 degrees Celsius. So we don't know what's going to happen in May. Although frost should not be a big issue for my farm in Bhopal, but some of my customers are from Punjab, Haryana and uh, south of Himachal. So over there, uh, frost can be a big issue. So uh, we'll talk about frost mitigation as well in this episode. Basically what NetFM suggests is that you put a micro sprinkler on top of every tree in your orchard. And during, if you have heat problem, then during heat, uh, it can uh, water the plants and give it a microclimate such that uh, the plant would think it's uh, raining, right? You would increase the humidity of that microclimate in the orchard. Regarding frost, let's say the temperature reaches 0 degrees Celsius in your orchard and uh, you have installed micro sprinklers for frost protection. How does it actually work? So what happens is uh, when you provide water through the system, the temperature of the water is higher than the temperature of the microclimate of that area. So what happens is you're actually uh, providing heat to the plant and the surrounding area. So the microclimate improves. Uh, tell me if you need to speak about uh, frost and the uh, heat mitigation. Yeah, that would be beneficial. Okay. So uh, during frost, uh, depends on how long is the frost and, uh, and how the temperature, how much they are going uh, down. Uh, in the beginning, it kills uh, the young leaves and, and after that the branches and the fruit set and the flowering. Of course, when they kill the branch, they kill even if it's not flowering, it kills uh, the uh, buds that go on the flower. So during frost, it uh, can cause very uh, strong damage to the tree. Uh, heat damage uh, causing uh, during flowering and fruit set, and even later can drop most of the fruits. So what we can do uh, against it, we use frost mitigation practice. We use micro sprinklers or sprinklers, it spread, uh, never mind on the mechanism of that, but this brings also hot water, not I mean hot water, but water with a higher temperature. Uh, and in, in the case of um, frost, it avoiding the or reducing the damage of the frost. And in case of heat, it uh, gives, uh, it reduces uh, temperature and give, bring higher uh, humidity. Uh, the, the same system are good for frost and for heat mitigation. I had one question. Yeah. So, uh, it, in Nani Ruja's place, uh, I don't think heat would be a problem, but in my conditions in Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, uh, the conditions are similar to Magan. So my focus is not on Haas and Lambas. My focus is mainly on green skin like Pinkerton, Ettinger and Reed. So would that also require micro, sprink uh, micro sprinklers to prevent heat damage or would that work without it as well? It depends on your climate. It depends how, how low you go. If it's go, uh, you can go under zero or under minus two, you should no, use that. Heat. We don't have a frost problem. Ah, if you don't have frost and not, not heat problem? We have heat problem. You have heat problem? Yes. What what temperature during the fruit set? Okay, during Sorry. the fruit set. Fruit ah. set is all right. Uh, during fruit set, it, should, it usually doesn't go above 35. But during fruit development, it can go up to 42 or 41. So that's why I'm focusing on pink. You should... You should uh, use it because also, you know, you say usually it doesn't go to 35, but usually it uh, doesn't, uh, not important enough because it depends if sometimes it goes, yeah. it's it's better, it will, uh, it will pay back because um, it reduces your fruit drop. 
and maybe even uh, bring you, uh, give you a bigger fruit. Right. Uh, you, what you need to see that the quality of your water, that it's uh, good water, not saline water, because if it's saline water, it can cause uh, damage. Okay. Your water is in good quality? Yeah. Okay, yes. good. I, I, I would suggest you to, to use it yeah. and to, to, um, to make it work at uh, 32 degrees. Yeah. Uh, and I suppose it will pay back uh, quite quickly. Okay. Um, if you want to save water, we can use a localized uh, micro sprinkler that will will. Um, and uh, just a second. another question I had was: Does the same sprinkler that works for frost also works for heat, or is it different? Same, same. Okay. Uh, not exactly, because for heat we need uh, less water than we need to we need to frost. For frost, we need to get three millimeters. While in uh, heat, we don't we don't need uh, so much uh, water. Yeah. Um, so you can reduce the uh, amount of water that we give to the to the trees. But actually, uh, same uh, system can support both. But, but when you want to to order, we will uh, explain. We we'll get exactly to the points. What what uh, should be suitable to to this area. Okay. So we have two different ways of uh, of uh, doing the this mitigation. One is uh, uh, we, we we call it a localized irrigation that we uh, irrigate only above the canopy. In this case, we save water that we don't uh, irrigate the roads, and we can use less water. The problem is, but I think in your area, since you don't have such a big uh, orchard, uh, it can be good. Uh, the problem is that you need uh, to do it uh, for every tree. You need a, a micro sprinkler for every tree. Uh, if you use our pulsar, which you give pulses, you even reduce the amount of water that you need. Um, as I said, for your area, I think uh, it should uh, it should uh, work uh, well. But if you don't have a problem of amount of water, you can use sprinklers that taking a bigger area. That a small video that shows you the pulsar, how it works with pulses. You can see it; it's on every tree. And it's uh, protect. Uh, we had uh, we have quite a lot of experience about it, and it worked very nice and uh, work well. I hope you found the video interesting and insightful. Uh, this could be a very practical application if you have such problems like frost and heat in your orchard. Now uh, that's it for this video. I am posting regular content on my channel. So uh, it, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. That way you'd also automatically get notified whenever I post something new. Thank you for watching.